Hey Audacious, my name's Josiah. I'm bringing you today's devotional from Matthew 14, 28 to 29. So first off, I'm just going to give you a bit of context to what's going on around this verse. Jesus has just sent his disciples off over a river, a, a river, no, a lake, and uh, the, he sent the disciples off and he's gone up a mountain to, to pray. And whilst they're crossing this lake, a great storm has rose up and the waves are crashing over the boat and the the disciples are, are terrified and lo and behold they see Jesus walking across the water to, towards them and they're even more scared than they were beforehand Jesus speaks out to them from the water and he says take courage it is I don't be afraid so then Peter replies Lord if it's you tell me to come to you on the water and Jesus says come then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came towards Jesus. Now, from this verse, there are a couple of things that we can learn about faith from Peter in this moment. First thing, when we step out in faith, miraculous things happen. Peter wasn't the only disciple in the boat. However, Peter was the only disciple to climb out of the boat, out of that safety of the boat, into the storm and walking towards Jesus. If he hadn't, if he'd stayed in that boat gripped by fear, he wouldn't have walked on the raging waters to get to Jesus. The miraculous wouldn't have happened if he had stuck where he was and hadn't stepped out in faith. Second thing that we get, when we do step out in faith, we need to be careful that fear doesn't pull us down. We read on a little bit uh, further and it says, Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Now, Peter lost his focus on Jesus. He lost his focus on his Lord and Savior. And because of that, the fear of the, the water that was around him just pulled him down and he began to sink and he lost that focus and, and that attention to to the spiritual that was going on in that moment that had allowed him to step out in faith and and walk on water but like it it's it's something that we can learn like we need to keep our focus firmly set on Jesus and when we do that the miraculous will happen around us it's something that we can do every day fixing our eyes on Jesus First thing you do when you wake up in the morning, Jesus, I've got my eyes on you. Finally, if we do lose focus, which is something that happens because we're human, Jesus is there to grab us by the hand and lift us out of the waves. Peter was rescued when he lost his focus on Jesus. And it says here, immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt the most important thing in that little bit, that, that word is immediately. Jesus immediately grabbed Peter's hand. Doesn't mean Jesus waited until Peter's head was below the waves. As soon as Peter began to sink and cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus was right there with his hand to grab him and save him. So that's something that we can do. All we need to do when we feel like we're sinking is to fix our eyes on Jesus reach out our hands to him and say, Jesus, save me. And he will immediately come in and rescue you from whatever it is that you are dealing with in that moment. So right now, I'd just like to pray over all of you that are watching this. Lord, I want to thank you for the time that these people have like, put in place to be able to spend time in your word, Lord. And I just pray that moving forward from today, you would give them the courage to step out in faith and just that courage that allows them to see that miraculous, spiritual, awesome stuff that you have planned in all of our lives, Lord. I just want to thank you that even if we get it wrong and we lose that focus and we begin to sink, you are right there, right there in the midst of that battle to grab us by the hand and rescue us from those waves, Lord. I want to thank you that you have given us this time today. I want to thank you for everything that you are going to do for us moving forward. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. So enjoy your week. Bye-bye.